All right, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can create this um, coloring book using nothing but Microsoft Word and a browser. And this is obviously to fit a superhero theme, but you can use this as a guide and put in any images, any pictures, and make the coloring book for any theme party and or classroom project that you want. Um, if we see this printed out, it actually prints out um, really nice and it turns out to be a really nice size. I do apologize, I ran out of staples right before I was putting this together and taking pictures. Um, but you should be able to very easily staple this right down the middle um, in order to complete your booklet. Um, I actually got the idea for this from my web my YouTube channel, which is Printables with Microsoft Word. I have a number of other videos, everything from chalkboard tutorials um, to gift tags to invitations, but I also have a video calling searching fonts, installing fonts, and using symbols. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video. I do use some unique fonts for this particular printable. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is we want to go to File, New, blank document. We then want to go to page layout and we want to go to orientation landscape. And the next thing we want to do is go to size and we want to do legal. That adds an additional three inches, which is actually pretty critical. When I printed this out and put the book together, it's a really nice size for a um, coloring book for a child. Uh, it actually prints out really nice. That extra three inches does make a really big difference. Okay. And then we want to go to margins and we want to go to narrow. First thing we want to do is we want to insert shape and we want to insert just a line. We want to hold down the shift key and go down and just do a little tiny line right down the middle. And we want to grab this and we want to wait till we see that green line so we know that is the center of the page. And then we want to make this a really light gray. And again, this is just for our guide. When you actually print it out, no one's going to notice um, the length that is such a light gray. Um, but again, it is really nice to have that um, for a guide for you while you're adding in the pictures. We're going to go ahead and do a copy so we can use that a little bit later as well. Okay. Uh, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to insert a shape and we want to insert a rectangle. And we just want to kind of go up here and we want to move this over. And we want to go to click on format. We want to do a shape fill of this blue color and we want to do a shape outline of this darker gray. And we can make the weight of this, you know, maybe a three point font. Next thing we want to do is we want to insert a text box. We want to draw a text box and we can kind of draw it there. We want to write, thanks for making my party super. And we want to highlight this and we want to make this a 48 point font. And we want to center all of this. And the font that I used for this is Bernard MT Condensed. And I actually made that white with a black outline. We also want to click, we don't want this ugly white text box, obviously. So we want to click on format and do a shape fill of no, oopsies, sorry about that. We want to click on the text box. We want to click on format and do a shape fill of no fill and shape outline of no outline. Finally, we want to do the super. The font that I used for that is a vengeance heroic avenger. Again, that's a vengeance heroic avenger and it's a size 72 point fonts. And I made that yellow and I added an outline. Okay, and again, you could play with the outline size if you wanted, um, kind of up to you on, on what you want it to look like. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to add in the um, silhouette of the superhero. So I like to use Google. If you like to use Yahoo or Bing, feel free. But I'm going to type in superhero silhouette. And I'm going to go ahead and click on images. And the image I used was right here. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to do a save picture as. And I'm going to save it in coloring book. I already have it there, but yes, we want to save it and replace it. Okay. And then from here, we can go ahead and do an insert picture. And we want to insert our silhouette that we just downloaded. OK. 
Okay. First thing we're going to notice is we're not going to be able to move this around the page. So we want to either click up in here, this little box for layout options, or we want to right click and we want to do a wrap text and we want to say in front of text. Okay. Next thing we want to do is this is formatted. We want to click on remove background because we don't want that white background. Right, we want to overlay that. So we want to move this over so we get all of the picture. And we want to say keep changes. Now we just have the silhouette, which is what we want. Okay. And you can kind of make him as big or as small, put him anywhere on the, the page that you want. You can kind of just play with this. Okay. Um, and then you're probably going to want to click on the text and then you want to right click and you want to say bring to front just in case um, so it, it the, te the text will be over the picture. And then finally you want to click on here and we clicked on format and we did picture effects and we did a glow and we went to more glow options. And from here we picked the yellow and I think I made this maybe a 20 six point but again you can kind of play with that and um, make it as big or as small of a shadow as you want finally the last thing I did was I went back to Google and we got that BAM so we want to do BAM super hero and we want to go ahead and once again click on images and we can just grab whichever ones we want we could do save as um, yes, let's replace that. Here's the zap. You can save picture as. Let's save it as zap. Um, and then we can click on pop. Save picture as. Oopsies, pop. Okay, so we just saved those three. But again, you can do as many or as few as you want. Or if you're not doing a superhero theme, you can grab whatever images that you wanted. And we're going to go ahead and click on insert picture and I think I did that pop and once again we're going to want to click on in front of text just as we did before we could also right click and do wrap text we do in front of text so we can move this around and obviously we have that white so we don't want that white so we want to click on remove background and we want to move this here and we want to move this here we want to say keep changes and then we can very easily move this and if you noticed here up up um, right here there's this little circle arrow you can use that to move this around which is kind of fun and then we can obviously go onto the um, one of the corners and click on your left key on your mouse to drag and make this smaller and then we can go ahead and do an insert picture and we could insert our pal and once again remove background just as we did before say keep changes and once again we can make this smaller and we want to say in front of text okay um, and if we wanted to add more you could add more it's totally up to you um, but finally what we're going to do is we're going to go to the back of the book and we're going to say draw text so this is going to be the very back last page and we're going to say thanks again for, make, for um, coming to my party from Cole and we can go ahead and highlight this we go to home and you can just kind of play with the fonts if you want um, but a boom is kind of fun and then if you wanted to, you could change the coal to a handwriting. It could be five-year-old font, or you could do a nice cursive. Um, you could do the bonbon, California kids, butterfly kids. You can kind of have fun with that, right? But we can go ahead and click here, and we want to center that. And let's go ahead and make that a 48-point font. And then we can click here, and we can click on Format, Shape Fill of No Fill, and Shape Outline of No Outline. Okay, so this is going to be the front cover of the book, and this is going to be the very last page as you turn um, your book over. All right, so next thing we want to do is we want to insert blank page. Okay, and that's going to insert a page right above. Now, if you remembered, we went ahead and copied that line in the very beginning, and we just want to put that line back so we know where the center of the page is. 
okay? You alternatively could just do insert um, shape and then insert the line and do that over again. But remember again, I copied that line in the very beginning, but you basically just wanna add that line in the middle. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Google and we're gonna type in superhero coloring pages, coloring books, um, coloring images, and you can do this for virtually anything. If you want to say unicorn coloring, right? Um, Pokemon coloring pages. Um, there, there's a myriad, right? But we're obviously doing superhero. And we're going to go ahead and click on images and you can literally just right click, do save picture as um, Spider-Man. We can grab wolf man guy, save picture as Wolverine. We can click over here, save picture as Iron Man. Um, here's the Hulk. We can do right click, save picture as. Hulk, um, and I think we need two more. We can do the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle guy, save picture as, and we can do, uh, oh, let's do Catwoman right here, save picture as. Actually, let's do this one. There we go. Oh, no, never mind. Let's do, ooh, that's not age appropriate. We'll do this one. Save picture as. All right, so we have our images. Now all we have to do is we do insert picture, and here is our Iron Man. And again, you're gonna have to click on here for layout options and say in front of text, okay? Um, and then we can go ahead and make him smaller. And again, we wanna look for this line and from here we can say insert picture and let's go ahead and do our Wonder Woman person and again wrap text in front of text just like we did before and if we wanted to get rid of this little um, black line we could do a few things we could do a crop and then we could just get rid of some more of her cape um, but that should be fine. Or you could have drawn a blank white box over that as well, okay? And we wanna do insert blank page, and we wanna do, again, the paste. And again, we just got that little gray line, which is what we want. We wanna put that right down the middle. And I'm using the key, the arrow keys on my keyboard to move that down. But again, people aren't even really going to see it when you um, print out the book. And you could even remove them right before you print if you wanted to do that as well. But I kind of like to use this as a guide to um, know where to fold the page. But again, here you just want to do pictures. And let's do the Hulk. And once again, you want to right click to wrap text in front of text. And again, if you wanted to get rid of this down here, you can do insert shape and you do a box and you can just kind of draw that box right there and you do a shape fill of white and a shape outline of white. And then you can get rid of that. And then we want to do insert picture and let's do our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle guy. And once again, we want to say in front of text Let's move him over here and let's go ahead and make him bigger. Uh, it's probably not the best one because it's not um, even, but you get the gist, right? And then finally, you want to do even pages. So we want to insert one more blank page. We want to do one more control V or paste. move this up here okay and there we go and we want to insert picture and here's our spider-man and once again we want to say in front of text 
and we can make that bigger and insert picture and let's insert our Wolverine and we want to say in front of text and again I'm just doing that in front of text okay uh, but you could obviously make these bigger. You can play with the images. Um, you can you can kind of deal. Oh, I don't know how that moved down. I apologize. For some reason, oh, this got moved down. There we go. There we go. Um, okay. So we have that. Now, um, when you print, what you need to do is print out that title page. Now, this is going to be the front page. And then again, as you fold it over, the back is going to be right here. That's going to be the very last page. And um, this is how my printer works. You might need to, depending on the printer you have, kind of play with it. Um, but the legal size paper typically goes into a different um, area or feeds into a different area of your printer. So you need to be sure that you either look at the manual, look online for your printer, or look for a place sort of on the front of the printer that can open up where you can feed paper in. But that's where you're going to have to put that legal size paper in. Um, and then when you print out the um, individual coloring pages, again, every single one of these is going to be double sided. So just know that you're, this is how I needed to feed in the coloring pages from my particular printer in order to get this nice booklet where you open it up to the front and the second page, this is the next page, and this is the next two pages. So again, that front page was there and then after that all I did was feed in those coloring pages after that and that's how you can very easily create a um, coloring book using nothing but Microsoft Word um, and a browser. I hope you found this useful. Please like my video. If you are so inclined to click on an advertisement that you find useful, that would be amazing. Um, subscribe to my channel and or again, like any and all my videos. I'd be so appreciative. Thanks so much.